Hey everyone, if you are new here, I do at least one monthly Walmart haul a month. These are not sponsored videos. By the way, if they are, I will tell you right at the beginning, this is not sponsored. And I've been doing these for years and I have got to tell you that while I have enjoyed making every single one of them, this one is absolutely deserving of the title epic. The pieces I have found for y'all and me, obviously I'm keeping them, are incredible. I have put together 19 outfits with multiple items. We've got a lot to talk about. So let me get to the actual trying on part. But before I do, let me fill you in on how this works. If you are new here, hi, my name is Marnie. I like all kinds of fashion. I lean to the budget friendly, but if you start looking at the links below, you're going to see some splurge items, particularly around the shoes, but not all of it. In fact, I found quite a few pairs of shoes from Walmart that I'm super excited about. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to walk you through all 19 outfits. I'm going to focus on specifically the new pieces from Walmart, but I have the links to the entire outfit down below. Everything is numbered over there. Maybe it's over here to make things easy for you. Besides being listed in the description box, I take everything that's in there and copy and paste it to the top of the comment section. So if you can find where to leave a comment or ask me a question, you have found the links as well. And YouTube now has their own shopping program. So almost everything, possibly everything is also going to be attached to a little shopping icon somewhere on the bottom. Let's get into this fall haul because so exciting. And we're going to start with outfit number one, which might be my favorite. No, I'd say it's my, Ooh, hard to pick favorites. Okay. Let's just say I'm really loving outfit number one. In fact, I've already shared these pants, but the top and the pants are from free assembly. The top is pretty much a typical sweatshirt material, a little bit thinner. So it's not bulky. It's a half zip. It looks very much like the Spanx or the Varley tops, but it's not that same material. This is definitely much more sweatshirt material. Now I went right for the Navy because that's what I do, but it also comes in sage green, cream, black, and sort of a burgundy color. This is not not an oversized fit on the top. So if you like that oversized fit, size up one from your regular size. The arms are a little more fitted. I wouldn't say tight. I just, this is more of a closer to the body fit. But as soon as I'm going somewhere that's cooler, this whole ensemble is going to be a travel outfit. Moving on to the pants. These were part of a recent travel outfit. And let me show you that outfit there. So you obviously do not have to wear this as a set. These are wide leg knit cargo pants. They're an elastic pull on style. They have the side seam pockets and then the cargo pockets on the bottom. There are straight leg instead of what I normally gravitate to, which are a pair of joggers. I love these. These are definitely one of the standout pieces out of this entire haul. They also come in all the same colors as the sweatshirt that I mentioned earlier. And I am going to have to restrain myself from ordering these in the cream and the black. And I have to highlight the sneakers. These look so much like, I believe they're called the Veja sneakers, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, except they're not. They're from Walmart. So you know, they're very, very budget friendly. Just a little sizing tip. These are from the No Boundaries house brand. And unlike Time and True and Scoop Shoes, which run true to size, these tend to run big on me. Often I size down half a size. I think these only come in whole sizes. I would really think about sizing down one full size. These are the normal lace up kind of shoes. I just pulled them super tight and then lifted the insole out and tucked the laces down underneath like that. So you can wear them tied like a normal shoe, or if you want that no tie look, that's an easy way to do it. I have to point out that these feel like suede. Obviously they are not. And I, they do come in lots of other color combinations. I think this might be the best sneaker that Walmart has ever released. Outfit number two is actually sold as a set and Walmart rarely does that. I love this knit sweater set. It looks a lot like one I get every year from Chico's. That one's a cashmere blend, which means it's a lot more expensive. This one is under $35. It also comes in hunter green, black, and charcoal gray. And the hardest part about ordering this was which color do I get? I think it's more fully stocked in the other colors. I went with what they're calling acorn. Each piece I think would look fabulous on its own, but together it's a really cute set for running around, running errands, going to lunch. Definitely a fabulous travel outfit once it cools down. The pants are a pull on style with a drawstring waist. Then it has the hoodie that matches with it. I think it's just a nice elevated way to wear a sweater set. And another pair of shoes that I have to share. These are also from Walmart. These are from Time and True. So these do run true to size. Although I will say that they are a little wider. So if you have naturally wide feet, I think you're gonna love these. If you have very narrow feet, you might wanna skip them. But I love the horse bit mule loafer kind of combo we have going here. And as with all Time and True shoes, it does have the memory foam insole. Outfit number three, the piece that's from Walmart that's new is this black and white striped sweater. It's a 50% viscose blend. So it's really lightweight. This one is not 
made to be oversized. So I got my true size. It's a little more closely fit. I mean, it's not body conscious, but it's more closely fitted. So if you do want a more oversized look, size up one from your regular size. This is from the free assembly line. The jeans I've shared before, and they're linked down below. And the pointed studded mules, those are from a previous Walmart haul and they are still fully stocked. I also wanna mention that this sweater does come in a lot of colors. Comes in solid black, solid cream, burgundy, lilac, and this navy horse print. I mean, literal horse heads, I think in a creamy white on a navy background, so lots of options. If I hadn't mentioned this already, this sweater is really, really soft. I think it's going to be a closet staple for the fall, maybe not the navy horse print I don't know take a look and let me know what you think outfit number four the base outfit is going to be the same and I wanted to cycle through three very different styles of jackets to show you how you can just take a very basic white t-shirt and jeans and change it up just by throwing on a different kind of jacket so the t-shirt and the jeans are not from Walmart but I do have them listed and I have a coupon code for the t-shirt if you want to save I believe I have a 10% off coupon the booties however these I'm very excited about as well these are suede kind of sock booties yes they're back and I like this taller shaft because I personally do like a cropped jean silhouette but I don't necessarily want this big gap between the bottom of the pant or jeans and then the top of my boot so a taller shaft on the booty kind of gets you sort of that in-between style so it doesn't look like you're wearing floods at least that's what I think so I love it they're very versatile and I like that they're a little more fitted around the ankle and the lower calf and these do run true to size it's a two and a three quarter inch stacked heel these also come in black and the burgundy that Walmart seems to be very into this season. So the first jacket, I have been waiting for Walmart to release this color. It feels like forever. This is their scuba knit scrunch sleeve blazer. I have it in almost every color that they've already released and they finally released it in navy. It's fantastic. It's just a great throw on and go kind of blazer. It's not going to wrinkle. You can wear it casually. You can wear it to work. The pockets in the front are functional. You just have to pull the stitching open when you get it. I also ordered it in one of the other colors they just released for this fall, which is Hunter Green. And surprise, surprise, they also released it in that burgundy as well. Jacket number two from outfit number four. Is this confusing enough? This one is very different for Walmart. I'm very impressed. Look, I have been wearing Walmart clothes for a long time, since childhood, honestly, and I've grown up wearing them all through adulthood. And there's a certain sort of style and quality that you come to expect. And oh yeah, every once in a while, they throw out something pretty cool. But this definitely looks like something I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale, but it is not. It is a single breasted denim blazer. It's a real denim. It's not chambray, so it has some structure to it. The pockets are functional. It's just absolutely fabulous. And I think it looks best paired with a very different wash, which is why I chose a light wash on the jeans and then the darker wash for the blazer. And then the last jacket that I wanna show you with this very basic white t-shirt and jeans outfit is this scoop satin bomber jacket. It comes in the burgundy as well. I don't, they're calling it rhubarb. I don't know, It's it must be the color of the fall, at least as far as Walmart is concerned. I don't dislike the color, but I have to tell you growing up since middle school, every rival school I've had from middle school, high school, college, my kids' colleges, the rival school's always been maroon or burgundy, so I just, I, I can't get myself to do it. I love this with just a black satin bomber jacket as well it has a slight oversized fit a little bit longer I'm wearing it in an extra small it's lightweight though so it's a great early fall jacket let's move on to outfit number five another white tee and honestly considering the pants I should have swapped them I think that Lux drapey tee would probably be more appropriate for these more work oriented pants but I think it works this is from free assembly it's one of their classic cropped boxy tees it's really not cropped it's just that it's not overly long it's not tunic length it's not a belly bearing kind of top. It's 100% cotton and it's only $9. And it comes in tons of solids, tons of patterns and stripes. It's just a great basic tee to have in your closet. I paired it with a new offering from Time and True and these are pleated wide leg pants. It's a viscose blend. Let me read it to you. It's 70% viscose, 30% Eliasel. So very soft, very flowy and drapey. It's a 30 inch inseam. So I'm five foot four, I'm gonna have to wear these with heels, which is fine because this is definitely more of a work type pant. And when I think work more formal, I think heels. Elastic back waist, it's mid rise, it has side slant pockets and it has the button pockets on the back. So they're a great pair of pants. I think 
on the sizing, the smallest size they have is a size small. I am aware of how ridiculous this is about to sound. Time and True sometimes starts at size extra small and goes up to triple XL. Sometimes it starts at small and goes up to triple XL. In this case, it starts at small. I'm wearing the size small. I generally wear an extra small in Time and True and it works because it has belt loops. I could definitely add a belt and make it tighter. So if you have more of an hourglass shape where your waist goes in more, you probably could get away with sizing down one because even though it has a button fly, it has that elastic waist. There's a a lot of material. So I think you have some wiggle room here. If you're not sure, size down one. And then Free Assembly has released another cardigan. I love this one because it has two color options. I bought both of them. You're seeing it first in the cream and the pockets at the top of the chest are just decorative. There's, they don't function, but then the pockets towards the bottom of the cardigan are functional. It's a viscose blend. So again, super soft for right now. I'd wear it just draped over my shoulders because it's little bit warm outside, but I also wanted to show you how you could wear this just as a shirt with nothing under it, fully buttoned. They're gold tone buttons. They are not metal buttons. They are plastic because it is $28. So as far as how you wash this, cause I have quite a few similar cardigans from Walmart with these buttons. Everything that I'm showing you from Walmart today is actually machine washable. Whether or not you want to throw it in the dryer sort of depends on how it fits and how you feel about it. But for how I've been doing it, I wash it inside out on cold delicate. And that way the buttons aren't big hanging around the inside of the washing machine and then I lay flat to dry. And since you're going to see these shoes a lot, even though they're not from Walmart and we are a little pressed for time, these are the Hazel pointed toe pumps and I buy at least one new color each season. I love them. You're gonna see them in this color, which is cappuccino and quite a few more. This is where I like to splurge on certain things like some shoes. So if you need to wear a pair of heels, I prefer pumps even for dressy occasions. These are the most comfortable pumps with a heel that tall. I understand that you know, heels in general are not considered comfortable, but for a heel, these actually are very nice. And for what they are pretty affordable for these next few outfits, we are moving solidly into a lot of new denim offerings from Walmart before we get into the dresses. So outfit number six, this scoop tie neck shirt, it also comes in solid black, kind of a red, and then the slate blue, that's what I'm calling it, that you see here. It has the, they call it a pussy bow collar. I do not know why. So you could wear it buttoned all the way up to the top with the bow. I like it a little more relaxed. So I have it unbuttoned a little bit and then the bow is tied a little bit lower. You could even just leave it open and hanging. And what I like about it is it's not attached. You could actually take it off. There's a little loop under the collar in the back and it's looped through there so that it hangs nicely but if you want to wear the blouse without the bow tie part, just take it on off. It's slightly sheer, but you don't have to wear anything underneath it as long as you wear a skin tone bra. It has a hidden button front underneath the placket and a slight high-low hem if you wanted to wear it untucked. And it does have the button cuffs. I paired it to make it a little more casual, although that shirt is obviously very office friendly, with a pair of crop wide leg jeans from Sophia Jeans. So these jeans are really lightweight. The denim is on the thinner side and very stretchy. It's a raw hem, so get those scissors out and you can cut them a little bit shorter if you need something more petite. I do wanna point out it does not have front pockets, it does have the normal back pockets what is this? What am I doing with my hands? Okay, it has the normal back pocket on the back. So without those front pockets, it does give it a nice sleeker look. So I'll give it points for that. The size range on Sophia jeans is pretty impressive. It sizes zero to 20. This one has a 27 inch inseam. So for most people like five, five and above, this would be a more cropped look. On me, it's kind of just where I want it for ankle height, which works out really well. Outfit number seven. I actually ordered this top a while back and I forgot to share it with you. It's another one from Sophia jeans and it's a mock neck top, comes in, I believe, a darker tan and white as well. I love the cutaway on the shoulders. It's regular bra friendly, but it does make my upper arms look far more toned than they actually are. This is a quintessential layering piece for fall. Obviously could wear it on its own right now, but because it's sleeveless, it's not gonna add any bulk to any cardigans, blazers, jackets, especially anything with more fitted sleeves and not any extra added warmth for those of us that sometimes get a little unintended hot flash or two. We don't need necessarily extra layers there. And then I paired it with a pair of jeans from Scoop. And these are another pair of wide leg jeans. This is a silhouette that's really big right now in fall. I would say 
these run on the bigger size. I went with my regular size in scoop and there's just a little extra material. Maybe they're a little long. So if you're not sure, I would say size down one. Again, the size range on this one is great. The size is zero to 20. And then I paired them with another new pair of shoes. This is from Time and True. It's the square toe booty. Has a nice zip up the side. And like I mentioned, a taller shaft on the ankle works really well with the crop jeans, with wide leg jeans. And this one comes in quite a few other colors as well. For outfit number eight, I'm sharing a couple standout faves in this one. So this cardigan is the same one that I showed earlier in cream, but this is sort of a navy, they're calling it tweed. It's a navy pattern cardigan. And I wanted to show you how I wear it just really basically. I went with sort of a monochromatic look here. So just a basic rib tank, happens to be from Walmart, paired with my all time favorite jeans that Walmart releases at least once a year now for a few years. It's from Scoop. They are the wide cuff jeans. I know those wide cuffs aren't for everyone, but why I particularly like this pair is the denim is super thin, lightweight, soft, and stretchy. So I can wear them now while the temps are near 90 degrees. And as long as I pair it with something short sleeved, I'm good because those cuffs are not rolled up to give extra material and extra thickness. They are cut and sewn on inside out to look like they've been folded over, but they're not. So there's no added material on your lower legs, no added bulk to your calves or ankles. I love them and I love the length. Now, if you're an extra tall girl, you're gonna hate them. But for five, four and under, they are a fabulous height. And if you're super petite, you just hack them down and then you won't have as wide a cuff. But you, you know, if you don't like wide cuffs, I know a lot of you don't, it wouldn't be a problem. And I do wanna point out that those slingback shoes, I got way back in March from Talbot's and they are back and fully stocked and they are super comfortable. Outfit number nine, the top I've shared before on Instagram. I got it at a boutique that's local here in San Antonio, but they do have an online presence and I do have a discount code with them. So do check the description box for outfit number nine for more info on the top. But the jeans, everyone loses their mind for these jeans. They're from the Sophia line. They are her trouser jeans. I gotta tell you, okay, I know there's a different price point. I love the Chico's trouser jeans. Those to me feel like trouser jeans, meaning they don't feel like denim. They feel like soft trouser drapey material. I feel like the Sophia jeans, the materials don't line up, but I get the idea. They're supposed to look more like fluid pants. I feel like they're kind of missing the mark and they're really, really long. They're kind of dragging on the floor a little bit for me. It's a 30 and a half inch inseam. I do feel like these run really big as well. There's a little more material than I would like around the hips and the butt. So again, because it's super stretchy, I would probably recommend sizing down one size from what you normally wear in other jeans. All right, we are halfway done. Outfit number 10. I'm thinking it's a date night option. I love this flutter sleeve top. I feel like I've bought this before from a higher end retailer. This looks a lot like it, but it's Walmart. It's scoop and it's under $30. It also comes in cream and that same slate blue as the button down bow shirt that I showed earlier. And then we have another pair of white wide leg jeans. These are from Free Assembly and these are a mid-rise, which is nice because I know quite a few of you have asked for mid-rise specifically. Now these jeans come with this weird little denim string belt. I just pulled that off. I don't understand it. I don't think it looks particularly good. You can keep it if you want. This also comes in a darker wash and a black, but I went with the one you see here. It's 98% cotton, 2% elastane, sizes zero through 20 on that. And again, you're seeing more of those hazel pointed toe pumps. These are more of the sparkly version, which I think would be great for a date night outfit. We are done with all the pants. Let's talk about some dresses. This one is great for right now. It has fall colors. It comes in black. It comes in blue. It comes in a burgundy and orange, so fall colors, but it's very much a late summer dress. It's that double gauze material, really lightweight and flowy. Love the pockets, love the built-in drawstring waist. It's just an easy throw on and go kind of dress for right now. Outfit number 12, depending on whether you pick one of the solids like yellow, navy, olive green, those are very fall, They're, it comes in magenta. This brown, I'm calling brown leaf pattern though, this just screams fall, but again, it's a dress I can wear now when it's still in the 90s, upper 90s actually where I am. It's 100% cotton, it has a really cool double elastic waist for a little shaping around the waist and under the bust. It doesn't have pockets, that would have made it absolutely perfect, but can you see this with cowboy boots and a denim jacket, you could wear it to a country concert. That is what I am also envisioning, styling this outfit like that. That was a weird sentence structure, but I hope I know you know what I meant. Okay, with that, let us move on to outfit number 13. This one 
one, I don't think it's hitting me just right in the legs. I, this is a midi length and I think it's not serving me well, but if you're taller than me or shorter than me, this could be perfect. It also comes in a solid black, a solid white, and a blue and white stripe. I went with a kind of maroonish red and white stripe. It's 100% cotton. The little twist in the front is really cute. Little unexpected detail that I would expect from something a little more expensive. It does have side pockets. It's a pullover style, has the slight puff sleeves with elastic around the cuffs. A Little bit of a V neckline. Another nice touch, it has a hidden snap right up at the top there, so it keeps everything shut. It looks like it's from a boutique. It is from Free Assembly at Walmart, so I'm quite impressed with it. I do think this will look better styled into the fall if I threw a denim jacket over it and wore tall boots. It's just cutting me right in the middle of my calf. I don't have a fake tan happening. I don't think it's the most flattering, but I think it'll be great on a lot of other people, which is why I'm sharing it with you today. Outfit number 14, I have already shared on Instagram a couple of times, shared it on stories, so I'm gonna show footage from that and the photos of it. Recently wore this on my trip to Chicago. I took last week, not that long, no, this last week, technically, it's Sunday when you're watching this. This looks like it came from somewhere high end. This is an actual denim. When I say actual denim, it's not like chambray or tensile. This is like jeans denim, but it's not stiff. It does have movement, but it's more form fitting. The contrast stitching the same buttons as a pair of jeans and it's a full functional shirt dress. This looks super expensive. I love this dress. I think this would be great for teachers. I think it'd be great for everybody. It just has so many great little details to it. And I cannot believe it is under $35. I should also mention it is 100% cotton and it also comes in a sage green, but that denim um, it is perfection. We're on to outfit number 15, which is actually what I am wearing right now. It is so comfortable. I changed back into it at the end of this try on. It's from Time and True, so it's even more budget friendly than everything else I've been showing. Little ruffle hem mini short dress, they're calling this. It comes in a brown and black plaid, sort of a pink plaid, and a rust orange plaid as well. It's 100% viscose. It feels very similar to the Rails button down shirts that I share all the time. Obviously, it is not. I'm hoping Time and True comes out with the blouse version of this soon. I love just everything about it. I, I paired it with a pair of cowboy boots from Walmart from the No Boundaries line, and I will say size down a full size from what you think you are wearing. Their shoes run huge, but I could also see this with ankle boots, with taller, up to the knee, Western style boots, lots of options here. If you have a country concert coming up, this is a great pick. Outfit number 16, this dress, I keep saying this, but doesn't this look like it's from a boutique? It does not look like something that Walmart would be putting out. It's $32, it is a pullover style, it has the shirt dress button front up to the waist, and then this beautiful pleated skirt, and I barely steamed it, so imagine it looking even more crisp if I have actually put in the time to steam it. It also comes in navy, that rich burgundy color, and white. It's a cotton blend. Pullover style, like I mentioned, has long sleeves with the button cuffs, does have the removable matching tie belt, side seam pockets, and under that belt is a little bit of an elastic waist, so it is very comfortable and very forgiving. And again, pairing it with another pair of my hazel pointed toe pumps. Outfit number 17 is the silky pleated shirt dress. I personally see myself wearing this to services at my synagogue, whether it's for high holiday services or Shabbat services, I'm not sure, but if you're looking for something where to church, religious services, I think this will work depending, you know, how comfortable you are with shorter skirts. It comes in this navy pattern that I love. Also, the same pattern in burgundy and a solid black. It's 100% polyester. It does have pockets, side seam pockets, pullover style, buttons on the cuffs. I really like the notch collar and the V neckline. I think it's really flattering. It has that self tie belt with loops, but if you wanna change things up a little bit, pull that out and put in your own belt of your choice. Even though it is belted at the waist, it also has a little bit of a drop waist silhouette and the buttons are pearlized. So lots of little details packed into a dress that is well under $40. I hope you're still with me because a few of you have been asking what to wear to a fall wedding. Those are a little bit tricky as far as weather goes. And I have two options that I think could easily be worn to a dressy event like a wedding. So outfit number 18 is from Sophia Jeans. It is a sleeveless, pleated v-neck long dress. I picked it out in black. It also comes in fuchsia. And then if you want something really fun, there's one with its solid purple background with these really cool, big, bright, abstract, fun flowers. It looks really expensive. It's $32. Pleated skirts. Those pleats are gorgeous. And then it's fully lined underneath. So this is a dress that's meant to be danced in, spun around in, twirl away in it. It has the v-neck, a little bit of soft shearing, or shearing. 
How do we say that word? Soft shirring? We'll go with that. At the shoulders, shirring at the shoulders. It has an elastic waist, so if it's a nice seated dinner at that wedding, go ahead and eat. I think this would look stunning with like a very slim gold or silver belt just to add a little bit of something and then matching metallic shoes. I'm just wearing it with some clear strap heels. This dress is beautiful and it is $32. And then our last dress, our last outfit for today. Thank you for sticking around to the end, by the way. Outfit number 19. This one is so beautiful. It's from Scoop. It's a lace trimmed bias cut satin dress. What I love about this dress and the one just previous is they're also very bra friendly. So I love this hunter green color, but it also comes in black, which many consider a little dressier. It's super comfortable. I will point out one thing. It is bra friendly. I'm gonna point out two things. One, it's bra friendly. Two, this is definitely more of a, it's not a wrap style, but there's nothing holding the crossover in place. If you did pick up that tagging gun that I've been recommending for a few videos now, that's a great place to snap it closed, or just wear a bra that is a similar color to the dress that you pick out. It's not gonna gape open. I just wanted to point out that it doesn't fully, if you just lean over a lot, exaggeratedly, it might open up just a little bit. So there you have it, 19 outfits. I don't even know how many new pieces from Walmart. They have just hit it out of the park with this one. I am super excited. All the details are listed below. If you've made it this far, please let me know top three of what you saw. I'm curious to know what are the things you like the most out of here? Thanks for hanging out with me today. I know it was a long one. Looking forward to reading your comments and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.